Oh yeah, so then we just need to fire ourselves over this tube, and then we should be able to just... Not do that, apparently. That was just dumb. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 8 of our Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex playthrough for the PlayStation 2. And we'll be doing Atmospheric Pressure in this episode with, against the boss, which I don't remember its name. Hey, look! The orange boy likes to fly! Time to earn your wings, kid! Okay, that's so intimidating. I am absolutely positively scared. Everyone hated the bosses in this game. There's certain levels I hated. Alright, okay. A uh, X is the fire. I was gonna say A. I'm on an Xbox controller. Oh yeah, and the controllers are... The controls are inverted on this too, which is another big complaint. So you have to shoot, like, whatever part of him's attacking you. So right now it's his face. And he has, like, a really big health bar. He's unlike other bosses. Ow, and watch out for the flamethrower attack, because that one does a lot of damage. I don't like the inverted controls, though. Like, it's... Oh, we need to go over here. Wait, that was way over to the side. Like, I didn't expect it to be way over there, but okay. Sometimes you can kind of see when he's going to attack you next. Like, the mask, I think, goes to where that specific ability's gonna come from. Yeah, so now it'll be his, uh, right hand. Which is his weird flamethrower attack that also does the most damage, I'm pretty sure, because it like, can concentrate on you. And you don't have a lot of invincibility frames. Which is annoying. Now it's his chest, which is that first one, which is gonna be way over here. That still hit me, even though... Okay, whatever. Now it's this hand again. This hand's the hardest one to hit for whatever reason. Alright, so he's more than halfway defeated. Now we gotta hit his head. This attack isn't too bad. Like it's your typical PS2 boss fight type thing. Oh yeah, and then he starts flickering every now and then too. Ow. Oh no, I'm on fire now. I think. No, oh, that was just my shots. Oh, that one's kind of in the middle here. Did that even hurt me? Or like, what? Because that's so confusing, because it looked like it hurt me, but it didn't really do anything to me either. That one's not too bad to avoid. This one, on the other hand, can be annoying, because like I said, it does the most damage. Oh! I think he lost that ability. Oh, it does. It does, like, very little minuscule amounts of damage, though. Alright, okay, so it looks like it's only his hand left. And there we go, he's dead. Beat it on the first try. Beats the last level we did, Droid Void. And we got the Fruit Bazooka. Yay, Bazooka power. Let's leave. Yeah, that was, um, notoriously annoying. Alrighty. Now we're done this level, so we get to move on to the next world, which is, like, space-themed, I guess. So we have the levels Crash and Burn, Gold Rush, Medieval Madness, Crate Balls of Fire, and Cortex Vortex. Let's do Medieval Rush. Let's go. I believe it's just Cortex left, and Crush, obviously. Well, here we are again. I wouldn't necessarily call this irony, but don't you find it a little odd that we keep meeting under these same world domination circumstances? Why not just give up? And let me win for once! Don't worry, Dr. Cortex. Now that my elemental powers have reached maximum capacity, this little geek is gonna wish he was never created. Geek? How are we a geek? 
We're the opposite of a geek. We're an idiot. Crash is dopey. He's kind of like Spiral where They're not like the smartest characters, but they're funny and- Oh! I didn't realize this was an atmosphere level. Yay! Oh well. At least this one doesn't look too bad, maybe? I don't know. This really reminds me of Rascal from the PlayStation 1 with like the, the, the ground here, the, like the textures they use. Can't believe there's 166 boxes. Hopefully a lot of them are nitro, so we don't actually have to look for them all. But I remember this level being kind of long and annoying. Also, why are there tents? Like, the music here is really good. Which is what does these levels justification. Otherwise, these levels are kind of boring. Oh, what are these? They don't even do anything. They're just, like, obstacles, I guess. And they're very loud. Holy cow. You guys can turn down the, the ear-deafening sound effects, please. Well, at least we got a good amount of boxes already, but... Like I said, checkpoints are getting more and more scarce in this game. Then again, this game just had less checkpoints than any other Crash Bandicoot game, and they weren't necessarily harder or easier than this. But they just were a little more... generous? The bonus levels, not so much, but these levels are like regular levels, yes. Okay, now we got, um... Falling wheel things and tiny, doing tiny things. Tiny brained, smooth brained moment. Oh, I see. You trick me into thinking the way with the nitro will be all nitro, but it's not. The way with the one box was actually just one box. Also, why are there like jump crates here? I love how this game just threw in random crates and they're like, yeah, let's let's do that. Oh yeah, these things. Did you know you can kind of cheese this, especially for the speed run, where you just go up above it like this, and it literally you don't lose any momentum whatsoever. I always thought that kind of be kind of fun. Am I screwed now? I'm screwed. That was nice to know. Ooh. Well, at least we know for a fact that this is just all... Actually, you know what? That makes me want to just double check if this way is all nitro or not. Because at this point, I don't know. Okay, I think it is just all nitro. Which is good to know. I just might as well double check since we had to come back here anyway. Because we died. We are getting a lot of boxes though, because like after this we're at 67, so that's pretty good. So yeah, just, just hug the upper wall here and you should be decently fine. I'm not going to say perfectly fine, because you're not going to be perfect, but... We should be close to another checkpoint, and that is a lot of nitro down there, like, holy Toledo. Oh yeah, there's a checkpoint. Excellent. Apparently this one's not too bad to do the time trial on, though, because a lot of the time the nitro disappears. But at the same time, a there's a lot of time stop boxes. So it's really not that bad. Oh yeah, this ping pong ball of a section, that's weird, but more like difficult. Okay, we gotta go around. Oh, we hit the nitro pathway. That's nice to know. Did you see that? It sucked me into the nitro game. Like, what the, what the balls was that? I do not appreciate being sucked into nitro like that. Luckily, it's not that bad, but now we know that we can fall to the, uh, to the right here, and we'll be fine. Now we just gotta be careful not to get sucked into that, like, nitro crate that seems to suck us in for whatever reason. It's gonna shoot up fire. I don't know if those, like, little embers are dangerous or not, though. Alright, looks like we can only go to the left. Yeah, it says we wanna go up, but I don't know if I believe... Oh, okay, never mind. I do believe that for the time being. Oh, this is just Nitro Heaven down there. No, we got Dingo Dial again. And we fell down again. Nice. And we hit that again. I am uh, not doing so well here, guys. 
Luckily, we know for a fact, though, that most of these boxes are actually going to be Nitro, like I was kind of hoping they would be. <sighs> Apparently, I think that up there isn't for any boxes or anything, it's just, like, for a severe shortcut. Like, if you can hit that when you're, um, doing the time trial. I don't know why Tiny's even there. Like, they should have put Tiny in the spot where he had to go. Instead, they put Dingo Dial, which I guess is more of a threat than Tiny, because Tiny doesn't actually hurt you. Oh, Entropy. Entropy's like the dumbest character in this whole thing, because he doesn't do anything. He just kind of like shoots in one location. Oh, is this the maze? Oh, I'm not a fan of mazes, not in these type of levels. Whoa, we're having slowdown here for whatever reason. I hate when the, like, after you have a slowdown spell that it like picks up speed again. So then, like, it throws off your momentum. Alright, if we go around... I hear another attack other than Entropy. Actually, I think it was just Entropy making those sound effects. Oh, never mind, that's just Dingo Dial over there. And we die! Great. Uh, like I said, remember that checkpoint issue in this game? Yeah, and you don't get, um, obviously you don't get, uh, ah, what? Okay. I don't know why I went ping-ponging off the wall so hard, but I did. I almost forgot which way we were going for a second there. That time that would have been on me, but... Uh, uh, yeah. Wait, why did it do it again? What's forcing me to bounce off that wall so hard and then never had that issue yet? I'm so confused. We still have 67 lives, so it's not like we're running low on lives, but this level's just proven to be a waste of my time at this point. Okay, thank you for not bouncing me into the water this time. Also, I don't know what was with PS2 games and having ball levels. Simpsons games did, uh, Crash Spyro they all did. So many other games on the PS2 did as well. You'll see as we play more and more PS2 games. I bet you the fairly odd parents game that we play is going to be the same way. Wait a second. Oh. Remember I thought there was nothing down here? There apparently was. Well, that's nice to know that apparently coming down here was worth something other than oh yeah, teeny tea gray. Oh, good thing I did go back down there again, even though I didn't mean to. All right, can you just hurry up? You're the easier one to uh, kind of actually you're not really that easy to avoid. You're the easy one to avoid. Yeah, because now we have 96 instead of whatever we had last time. It wasn't this way, was it? So it can't be that one specific way because of the fact that, um... I think it's this one. No? Normally, Wumper Fruit leads you in the right direction, so... Oh, I see. It's this way. Oh, and there's the crystal. Oh, and then we gotta go over this little hump. Oh, thank god. I was like, if I fall and die now, I'm gonna be very, very sad. Because we did all that work. Oh, that's the exit, but then there's this over here. And then we just randomly have most of the boxes. Uh-oh. Did I miss boxes? Really? Where were they? 
We missed boxes. After all that time, we still... Really? Okay, right. So we missed boxes anyway, so I'm not going to bother with that. Right, so we're just gonna bum rush through now, since we know exactly where we need to go and we beat the level. Wait, there was a checkpoint right here? Don't tell me this is where the boxes were. Okay, no, never mind. So we missed that one box, it's the only one that I know for a fact that we missed now. We got the ones down there, I didn't even realize there was a checkpoint right there, but okay. Since we don't need any more of these boxes, because I know for a fact that we missed them somewhere. That's good to know. Yeah, we need to go around to Entropy. Oh yeah, so then we just need to fire ourselves over this tube, and then we should be able to just... Not do that, apparently. That was just dumb. Like, yeah, I didn't even know there was a checkpoint there. This is how blind I am in this level. But like I said, with the graphics being lowered, it's really hard to see. But the jumps and stuff seem a thousand times easier. And I don't know what caused that. We gotta go all this way around. Turn it over here. Actually, thank you for slowing down there, game, because you actually do benefit me a bit when you do that. And I knew if you went too fast, you could fall out of this. I thought it was just crazy in the past, but nope. This time, can we not um, just like fly through the exit? Thank you. Thank you! We may have time to do one more level in this. That was ridiculous. Like, beyond ridiculous. That was gut-wrenchingly brutal. Alright, Gold Rush I know is a long level. Um, that one I believe has a death platform. That one's another one of those ones, and Cortex Vortex. Um, actually, I think the rest of these levels are pretty long. So I think that'll do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon link below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.